watcher, what's happening? Today I've got a Diplomat Aero. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, Diplomat Aero in orange. Uh, this is lent to me by my friend Mike. Uh, I was helping him out with a little nib replacement and he said, oh, I got one of these. Do you want to try this? I said, yeah, go on then. I had a little try. He goes, oh, do you like that? I said, yeah, that's nice. He said, do you want to borrow it for a review? I said, go on then. Sorry, could have probably summed that up a little bit better. Um, so, Diplomat, uh, long-standing German pen makers. Uh, Aero, which has been likened to kind of the Zeppelin shape, slash torpedo, slash cigar, slash whatever you like. Uh, obviously a little bit different. Um, so let's take a little look at the pen. As I say, it's a cigar shape. You've got a Diplomat logo on the cap finial and just a plain black on the end finial down there. So it's a metal pen, uh, available in range of finishes. Uh, it's kind of a nice, I'm not sure what the material is. It's metal anyway, um, but it's like kind of got a nice semi matte anodized finish on it. Diplomat on the join of the cap there and Germany on the other side. Um, cap is perfectly usable, uh, as stiff as you'd want without being overly stiff. Uh, it's not spring loaded or anything, but um, works well. Slip cap, very satisfying closure by the way. Very nice, very nice. Um, so then you've got step down, onto your section which then tapers down a wee bit and then you've got a little little dimple and then flares out a tiny bit to a diplomat number six size steel nib in this case a medium and a plastic feed quite like the profile of that feed a cartridge converter pen converter I believe it's included, yeah, so uh, got Diplomat branded converter there included in the pen. Uh, so the section and barrel screws, so nib unit if you like, uh, is all like similar semi matte anodized finish, in this case in black slash very dark grey. Um, so you've got metal on metal there. Very smooth and seals well. No rattle in there. Pen does post. Uh, so it does add a little bit of girth into the crook of your hand there uh, for posting. A little bit long, maybe for me. Um, does add a bit of weight on the back there but not uncomfortably so um so you, you feel that bit of heft on there i will say i don't think this is the most secure posting in the world i know it kind of looks like i've got to wrench it a little bit to get it off but um you kind of put that on there you do have a bit of wibble wibble wobble and um i have found because i thought i would like to post this um but i have found when I'm writing, kind of the crook of my hand does rub this a little bit and it wobbles and then eventually comes loose. Um, so, look, I don't want to jam it on there, it's not my pen, but it's um, I, I wouldn't call that a massively secure posting. You may differ. If it's your pen and you, you, you're willing to jam that on there a little bit more, you might get different results, but um, not a deal breaker for me as I don't tend to post. And as I say, I found that Maybe just a little bit back weighted for me. Your mileage may vary. Let's look at some measurements for the pen. Capped, uncapped and posted, all approximate sizes. Uh, then you've got the weights capped, uncapped and the cap by itself. Um, this is inked, so give or take a gram or so. Uh, the barrel, uh, 14 
millimeters up here and then tapering all the way down obviously to nothing eventually pretty much but um, I think I've got about nine mil about here um, and the section starts about 10 and then just tapers down ever so slightly 11 and then you got your little dimple in and flare back out there comparisons with some other pens for size Diplomat Aero next to the usual Lamy Safari for common reference uh, Moonman P135 uh, 136 sorry Jinhao X159 and the other side we have a Waterman Expert Twisby Eco and the Lamy 2000 for some sizes So let's see how this writes. Let's zoom in a wee bit. My apologies for the dilly dally. Uh, my focus doesn't like me today. Sorry about that. The three people who are watching just left. Right, so we have the diplomats. Aero. This is in a medium steel nib. Uh, the ink in here is uh, it's octopus. fluids do you know what I don't know which one it is because it's mic sync um it's your kind of turquoisey td one uh that isn't a million miles away from like something like diamine marine uh if I remember to look it up when I post the video I will put it in the description below Good solid performer, as you would probably expect um, from a diplomat nib, from a, any German nib, to be fair. Um, try it a bit faster. Keeps up okay. There was a little tiny weeny bit of a hard start at the start there. Well, I am waving it around a bit, I suppose, but um, I haven't generally noticed such a thing. Um, reverse. You'll get a couple of words there. Goes a bit dry, quite scratchy. General performance is nice and smooth. Um, just a tiny weeny bit of feedback, but in a nice way. Uh, it's not uh, it's not writing on a sheet of glass. You get a bit of feedback, um, but it's very smooth and good performer. Um, for line variation, not a little bit, a little bit you're not getting a lot. Um, on the stiffer side this nib so with no pressure uh, I've got this at a 0.5 mil line so a medium it's not your thickest of mediums but it, it, it's a medium and uh, I, I can push that again it's not my pen so I can push that um, to where I'm willing to push it and I can get a 0.8 line so heading up uh, into a broad a bit of careful pressure not the wettest nib in the world but not the driest um, I've, I've not used this ink before either so it, it 
gives the impression of being a slightly drier ink, but I'm not sure. But um, certainly not dry, just not a gusher. So what do I think about the pen? I think it's very nice. Um, so I, I like the feel of the finish, the material. Um, it's a nice kind of smooth, semi-matte, anodized. Oh, you want someone more technical than me doing this kind of stuff, really. Uh, but it's a nice feel. That slip cap is very satisfying. It's just like you can feel that nice like pressure coming up. It it feels better than it sounds as well. It's, it's very, very nice. Uh, I like the subtle diplomat thing there. Uh, clip's nice. Again, you've got that nice feel all over it, really, including um, to the section. That's reasonably quick to unscrew, nice and functional. Comes with a converter. Very, very nice. Um, I like the size of the nib, actually. So number six size nib, but just it's nice and long, or certainly set um, quite out, so it's not like half the nibs down in your section here. Um, so it gives the impression of a nice long nib. I like that. I like that feed profile. Um, so it's a little tiny bit, just small for me. I, I, a lot of me wants to post this, just to put a bit of extra width um, where it rests in my hand there, but it doesn't quite work for me. As I say, it's like you've got that little bit of wobble. Uh, again, I, I'm not jamming that down because it's not mine. Um, so I feel like, I don't know, it's okay, I can write with it, but it's just, in an ideal world, I'd like just a little bit more girth here, because that's where I'm gripping, because um, then I, yeah. So yeah, um, I was concerned when I was kind of, I've looked at these before, I've never written with one until I was kindly lent this. Um, so I kind of feared that that step down would be I'd be too conscious of that, but where, you, where I hold that, certainly, um, that's not a problem. I, I don't even notice that. It's a nice long section, so you can you can have that at a few different points depending on your grip preferences, hand size, etc. I mean, look, even if you do, I don't know why you would, but even if you do hold it up there, it's not sharp or anything. Um, I'm not quite sure how comfy it'd be, but that's fine. Um, yeah, so it, uh, it writes well. Um, not the dry, not the wettest nib in the world. I quite, I quite like a wet nib. So, if it was mine, I might see if I could wet that up carefully and simply, um, or even grab a broad or something like that. You know. But good, reliable writer from uh, my test drives over the last uh, week or two. Um, yeah, a nice pen. Price wise, I think these go. Uh, you can pick them up between the 150 200 pounds slash euros slash dollars slash other equivalent mark um depending on where you go i've seen some of these on offer on amazon recently for 150 ish uh that's obviously with the steel nib um you can get a gold they are available with gold nib upgrade but that's going to set you back another uh 150 ish on top of that look i'm, I'm approximating these because they do vary a bit from where I've seen for different retailers and stuff, but um, it's going to be wherever you get it from. Have a little shop around is what I'm saying. I don't think that's bad value um, for the steel nib and the quality of the build here. Um, yeah, very nice. One might be in my future. You never know. Um, although what's probably going to stop me is this kind of, I can't quite reconcile where I want to do this, so maybe I'll see if I can hang on to it another week and see how I go. But um, I might be looking at a excellence A2 for myself, um, which I've had on a wish list for a while. Anyway, let's not digress. Good pen, decent. Uh, I think that's a good value for money if you get in that 150, I don't know, maybe up to 180. I, me personally, um, good functional pen, 
and it's a little bit different uh, torpedo slash cigar shape as well, not just like your typical domed smooth pen. But yeah, good fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Mike, for the loan. Didn't mean to bang your pen down there, mate. Sorry, it's fine, by the way. It's absolutely fine. Right, where's that polishing cloth? See you later. Bye.